all right today we'll be implementing the concept of content delivery network also known as cdn using azure front door and we'll host one web app in azure so let's uh, dive into the portal i'm into the portal we can search app services here otherwise if you're frequently visited we can open it here as well so anyway it works fine so let's open it we'll be creating everything from the scratch just like previous videos so web app let's create the first one next we need to mention the subscription and resource group where we want to you know, create the web app let's name it cloud guru amit web app it will be code next we need to select uh, the uh, runtime stack let's select dot next uh, six the operating system will be windows region us uh, east us looks good windows plan let's create one new plan all right we have created new plan now in the uh, pricing let's explore uh, pricing we'll select basic p1 to save cost we can see the pricing how these are uh, like charged and what it can scale so we have tons of information here uh, for our web app since it's a kind of dummy uh, this configuration is fine for us let's select this basic b1 let's go down next we have uh, the option for databases since uh, we are not creating any kind of database associated with it we can skip it next is the uh, deployment let's check uh, we don't need any kind of authentication next is the networking we need to enable public access because uh, we will view the web app whether it's running on the browser or not so we'll we need please make sure this public access is uh, switched to on next monitor and secure so we don't need application insights for now it's selected to no looks good tags also it's optional we don't want to create next is review and create let's click on create our deployment is in progress let's wait for a while till the deployment completes let's dive into the architecture diagram so we are creating this now azure web app next will be to use azure front door so that uh, we can use the concept of content delivery network will be opening the web page uh, the ip address for azure web web app as well as when we configure azure front door we'll be able to see the same uh, web app how azure front door uh, uses and makes it available quick for us let's go to the portal all right our deployment is completed now let's go to the resource so this is our web app all right on the overview page we have tons of information here so we have the virtual IP address, we have the domain, default domain. Let's copy and paste it on a new tab. All right, if we check here, it says your web app is running and waiting for your content. So our uh, web app is working fine. So now uh, let's duplicate this tab because we want to do the same thing and apply the concept of content delivery network. So content delivery network makes our uh, web app across all around the world uh, to be quickly accessible right and also provides a uh, uh, region uh, regional failure those kind of things which normally uh, if we don't use front door we won't get so let's now uh, create front door that is our content delivery network cdn front door and uh, cdn profiles let's click here next we need to click on create next we'll select azure front door and quick create continue to create front door Next, we need to select resource group. We'll select the same resource group where we have created a web app. We need to name our uh, uh, front door. Let's uh, name it like front door FD Cloud Guru Amit app. Let's uh, select it here as standard. That is, um, it's optimized. Next, uh, we have a couple of options as well. That's the endpoint name. Let's give it Cloud Guru endpoint. Next is the origin type. Since we have deployed app services, we need to select app services here. Next, uh, we need to select the origin, origin host name. This is, please note, this is an important step. Cloud Guru Amit web app, right? This should match with your this one. Cloud Guru Amit web app websites, what we have uh, deployed in our web app, right? This would exactly match. Otherwise, uh, the content delivery network for the web app won't work. Next, caching makes the content uh, quick right we can enable uh, caching as well for this uh, we are good next we'll create a waf so let's uh, uh, create front door fd waf we'll name it something like this for convenience this looks good next we'll go to the tags uh, looks good we'll go to review and create now let's click on create since our validation passed 
all right our deployment is in progress so let's dive into the architecture diagram what we have done till now so we have first of all deployed azure web app now we have used azure front door and uh, provided the uh, url for our azure web app which azure front door will be using to display the same website once front door is up and running we need to check in our website just like azure web app in our browser so technically it should display this same website but front door will as a content delivery network since it's a content delivery network right so it will boost our web app all over the world that is it will decrease the latency so that our app is highly available and it's uh, accessible to the users as fast as possible all right our deployment is completed let's go to the resource now so we got one endpoint here right uh, this one let's copy this and paste in the browser to check all right after waiting for around 15 minutes the page got loaded so sometimes you got to have patience generally it takes uh, around like um, say like two minutes or five minutes uh, so let's uh, verify this let me duplicate this tab so now if we check at the endpoints cloud guru amit endpoint so uh, this one is this one and for our web app the url we know is this one how do we know because if you go to the web app uh, we have uh, the default domain name we can see it here and also default domain name is here which will match with this so we can see the same website in both so that being said let's open the architecture diagram so we have successfully deployed content delivery network using azure front door that is uh, the web app which we have hosted so thank you so much for watching this tutorial